so what's new? Uh, the important thing is as soon as you start it appears directly on the control tab uh, whereas previously it was the mixer and you tend not to use that one as much as you do the control. Uh, one of the complaints we had is the this thing here was uh, not available in the old modulation tab so now from here you can change everything. Uh, choose your chip, choose your key switch here and you can still change the volume, pan and mix while listening to everything else and seeing the oscilloscope as well. So this is the first thing here. Uh, the other thing is um, most of these controls now you can just click and type whatever value you want for the controls. Um, so that's what this little thing is for here, a uh, little pencil. Okay, next, uh, you know, you've seen the MIDI delay. This is a new module. Um, what you can do with this is quite typical. So it sounds like a typical normal MIDI delay, but uh, it follows the chip music um, philosophy where you need to do more with less. So this particular one always, it only plays one sound at once. So if I do this, See, it, uh, it only will uh, add notes when there's silences, so... And you can combine that with the ARP, of course. I'll do quick one-shots just to explain it. Um, uh, where is it again? So it only plays the ARP once, but it's the delay that does the rest. And of course you can add, still add a modulation once that's done. So that's a MIDI delay. Of course you can tempo sync it and everything. I'm sure you're going to do um, more interesting stuff than I just did with it. <laughs> 